There'll come a time when you're working in AutoCAD Electrical and you've got 200 drawings in your project and you need to update all of the title blocks so that they're all at the next revision, ready to go out, ready for construction, installation, whatever it takes. Now I've created a very basic title block here because I want to show you title block setup. Now before we do that, the usual thing, add the active drawing to the project, say yes to the project default values. And you'll see there that title block setup has gone in as sheet 002, so no need to edit the drawing properties. So let's go up to the project tab now, and you'll see in the other tools panel here that we have title block setup. When I click on that, I get various options. Now you may remember when we started using AutoCAD Electrical back in the previous videos at the beginning, we got this add WD TB attribute. Now that's one of the methods of linking and text mapping your title block. So you can see here, all link information is stored right on the title block as this invisible WDTB attribute value. So basically what it is, is it's storing all of the text mapping information invisibly in the background as block attributes. Now I'm not going to do that in this case, I'm just going to make this project specific rather than make it completely AutoCAD electrical specific. So I click on OK. Where I've tested this exercise, you can see that it's telling me it already exists, the WDT file. That's no problem, we'll just overwrite it. And then we need to use the block in the drawing. Now the good thing is we've got the pick block option. If you know the name, type it in. But a lot of the time I never remember my title block blocks. So I'm going to just go pick block, pick on the block, press enter, and there it is there. ACAD Electrical, title block, NCB. So it's an American B size drawing. So I'll OK that now. Now the next screen looks more complicated than it is. All you're doing here is lining in your text mapping to the project from the title block. So you can see there's the attribute listing, there's the project value, line one, line two, line three. Let's have a look at this now. What we'll do is we'll go through the attributes one by one. I'm just going to move the dialogue over a bit so that I can see the attributes here in the list. OK, now I've got five attributes in my title block, which are project, drawing, drawn by, checked by, and approved by. So there's project, there's drawing, drawn by, checked by, approved by. So I can go and select these now from my list. So let's go for project number. Then we want drawing number. Then the next one is drawn by. And then the next one down is checked by. And then last but not least, approved by. So there's my five attributes that are going to go into line one, line two, line three, line four, line five of my project text mapping. So all I've got to do now is OK that. That information now gets written, as you can see on the command line there, to my WDT file. Here's where it gets interesting. I can now go to my project, right click and go to descriptions. As you can see, there's some information in there already. Now, I'm just going to remove all of this. This is all previous setup. So let's remove the information. I don't want that in there. So let's clear that like so. I don't need those two in reports. I only need five. So I'm going to update now the information for my title block update. So if I go line one in here like this, that's my project. And you can see the numbering philosophy on the title block. So it's going to be 100 dash 100 and then dash, and then we're going to put in 999 as the project number. Line 2 is the drawing number, which is 100, dash 100, dash, and then a D, and then the drawing number. So we'll say it's 1120. Then we've got drawn, checked, approved. So drawn, let's say that I did the drawing. Let's say that someone else is checking it. I'm just putting initials in for now, and then someone else will actually approve it like so. So there's my project description for my report headers and the title block update. So I'll OK that now. So that information has been updated into the project. Now, if I run my title block update, like so, there's the information. So I want line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. I tick those to update. Now I can do that project wide if I want to. I've only got this title block in this particular drawing though. So what I'll do is I'll just do it in the active drawing only. And lo and behold, as you can see, the title block updates. It's so quick and it's so easy. And if you've got to do that on 200 drawings, look at how quickly it's done. It's literally a few clicks rather than two days work. 
So use the title block update and update it by setting up a title block with all the attributes that you need to update in your AutoCAD electrical project.